regulating the roads. In the event of any road traffic accident, to determine that who is wrong, or who is right, road traffic rules, road markings and road signs have been established as a part federal law, so it is essential for all the drivers, to understand the traffic rules, road traffic signs and road markings, in order to drive safely. When we face different situations, where more than one instructions are given at a time, we have to think about the order of traffic precedence. Traffic police officer has the precedence over everything, as even if the traffic light is red, but the police officer has signaled you to proceed, you have to follow the police officer's instructions. The precedence is as follows, traffic police officer, traffic lights, road traffic signs, and road markings. Basic road rules. Signals given by a police officer. Picture 1. All vehicles must stop when policeman raise his hand. Picture 2. Beckoning a vehicle from the side vehicle approaching from left may continue. Picture 3. Vehicles approaching from behind and dahiyat must stop both left and right may continue. Picture 4. Slow down if given from a police car, follow the police card and pull over behind it when it stops. While approaching to the traffic light the driver should reduce the speed from a sufficient distance, in order to be defensive, and to avoid being hit from behind as well. The driver should estimate that, where the car would stop at the halt position, before applying the brake, and then should act accordingly. Flashing Amber Flashing Amber light means, to slow down the vehicle, look for any road user and if any, give way. You may have the flashing amber light at, pedestrian crossing, free exits from junctions, the road work areas. There is difference in controlled and uncontrolled pedestrian crossing which is as follow. If the pedestrian crossing has a separate traffic light, or the police officer is signaling, the crossing is known as controlled pedestrian crossing. And if the pedestrian crossing is without traffic light, or there is no police officer, it is called uncontrolled pedestrian crossing. Traffic signs. Mainly it conveys information from the traffic authority to the drivers. Traffic signs. Whenever the warning triangle shape is seen, and the color is red and white, it warns you about danger ahead. Traffic signs. If the traffic sign is circle, in shape, and the color is red, it stands for prohibition and restriction. Traffic signs. Circular shape with the background color is blue. Then it means mandatory signs, which you must follow. Traffic signs. Multiple rectangular signs stand for direction and information. Mostly it provides positive information regarding the directions, distances and locations. Traffic signs. Supplementary signs are usually combined with primary signs, and the information given by the primary signs for clarification. Traffic signs. Temporary signs are an orange color, and these signs mean that road construction is going on, so slow down the vehicle and look for road workers and equipment. Traffic signs. A unique red triangle which is upside down. Stands for give way. It's is made unique for the purpose of being recognized it from a distance. Octagon. Shape with eight corners stands for stop. The difference between stop sign and give way sign is that at stop sign the wheels must stop at the halt position first, and then you may scan and go, and at give way sign, you may slow down, scan and if no vehicles, you may proceed without stopping. Electronic Guidance Boards These signs are newly introduced and warn the road users about the latest updates related to the weather, traffic jam, and road works ahead, etc. Road Markings Allow to overtake or change lane Allow to overtake but be careful
not allowed to overtake or change lane. Road markings. You can overtake if the broken line is on your side of the road. Road markings. Not allowed to cross these lines. Road markings. Stop line. Road markings. Give way line. Road markings. Pedestrian crossing. Road markings. Road traffic signs could be hidden sometime and could be out of sight too, but road markings are usually clearly visible to the driver. The road markings. Clarify rules and regulations. Separate lanes, cyclist track and pedestrian crossing give some sort of prohibition. Rules of the road. Total we have six rules which are essential to be memorized and followed in the traffic. The left hand rule. At uncontrolled junction, left hand rule has to be applied. If there are vehicles from all sides the drivers should have eye contact with one another, allow the one who is waiting for you at your right side. Once one vehicle is moved, the rest will get the chance to proceed. The main road or priority road rule. Main road could be either two-way or one-way, according to the main road rule priority has to be given to the vehicles on the main road from both the sides, if the main road is one-way, generally the flow of the traffic will be from left side, but, very rarely, you may find some vehicles reversing from the right side as well, and if the main road is two-way, then the traffic will be approaching from both sides. Exit and entering rule. You should give way to the vehicles on the major road, while joining from a minor road, parking lots, fuel stations and hard shoulder. The turning rule. At all crossroads, those who turn left should give way to the oncoming vehicles according to the turning rule. The obstruction rule. If there is any car stopped in the junction obstructing your way out of the junction, then the rule says do not enter. In some congested areas, usually the junctions are marked with yellow boxes, crisscross lines, which indicates that usually traffic gets jammed in this particular junction. Obstruction rule is applicable in all sort of junctions, intersections, roundabouts, pedestrian crossing etc. The bus rule. Inside cities, buses have to pick and drop the passengers in bus stops so, while exiting from the bus stop or while entering, buses have the priority over other vehicles. <music> Driving distinctly means to use all the communication sources, indicators, horn, hazard lights, etc., at the right time, and at the right place, and to be cancelled as well on the right time, and at the right place. Signals. All the lights of the cars, are important source of communication and information. But, specially, indicators are used to show our intentions to others. So the indicator should be used on the right time, and at the right place and cancelling the indicators after the use is equally important. Indicator lights do not give orders. No driver should trust blindly signals given by others. Hazard lights. While driving if anything goes wrong unexpectedly to you, to your car, or to someone else on the road, which is going to obstruct the flow of traffic, you should use hazard lights to inform the other road users to be ready for the action. Using hazard lights continuously on a moving car will cause confusion and may misguide other road users. In bad weather condition hazard lights are strictly prohibited to be used as an excuse of over-speeding. 
if you are towing a trailer, only the vehicle trailer on tow should use the hazard's lights. The horn. Horn is used for the purpose of warning others, and it should be in very short beeps only. In residential areas, from 12 o'clock midnight to 6 o'clock in the morning using the horn is prohibited. It should be avoided near the places like schools, courts, hospitals, and mosques etc. Distance to the car in front of you. While driving inside cities, the distance from the vehicles in front depends on several factors as the flow of traffic, traffic lights, junctions, pedestrian crossings, state of the road. The driver should keep sufficient distances from the vehicles ahead to have sufficient time to react and avoid collision in case of emergency. During the peak hours at T-junctions, where a minor road meets a major one, the drivers on the major road should cooperate with those who are on the minor road by allowing them to join on BY1. One vehicle from the main road may be followed by one from the minor road. Exceptions to the rules. How to give away for emergency vehicles. If the emergency vehicles such as ambulances, firefighting engines, police cars are seen with sirens and flashing lights, all other drivers should give them way in a safe manner. Moreover, official vehicles when moving in convoys have the priority too. The cyclists. Cyclist is considered as an unprotected road user. In order to avoid accident with cyclists while passing them, drivers should keep a minimum 1.5 meter distance sideways. It is always preferable to move to the other lane, if possible and available. As the car creates a turbulence which may blow the cyclist away. Do not honk while passing them, as they could get panic and lose control. Respect for pedestrians. To avoid pedestrian accidents, it is strongly advised that all the drivers must give priority to the pedestrians. School bus. Once driving in two-way traffic and find one of a school bus in stopping condition, stop arms on the side of school buses automatically drops open when halts to pick up or let off students, indicating to other road users to wait until the child is safely out of the way, motorists should stop at a distance of at least 5 meters from both side front and behind.